Okay, well, I think we have almost everybody. I'm trying to think of who are missing. I think Tanya will be here. She's doing the after-school reading program. Okay. And they were just getting kids on the bus. They were just getting kids on the bus. And then, who did you say that was? Tanya Cook. Tanya Cook. And then, um... This is right here. Yeah. I'm trying to remember her name. Glasses. I should remember her name. Fourth grade teacher here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't really want to think about it, but... So... Yeah. Oh, you're like, I thought I just to I can't get into You can't get in. Here it does? Or at home or at school? Here. I thought we put those codes in. Let's see what happens up here. I'm trying to get it a different way. Um, yeah. Oh, this one, put those codes in. Um, I wonder if he's here. Scott, how's it going, man? Good. How are you, Scott? Good. Um, yeah. Yeah, pen and paper or something? Um, I'll be typing it in right on the screen. Okay. It's 0303-W0-D-H. Hold on one sec. It's not taking something for some reason. Okay. 0-C-3-G-W-2-D. Nine zero P two P two okay yeah can you can you email that to me yeah you bet thanks man appreciate it Ken you're welcome bye anybody else getting that error message on yours I thought we got all those codes put in when we installed but apparently not I'm I don't think it will. Did it not take it? Maybe it's W. Maybe it's W. Zero. Is it zero? Is it zero? Yeah. Zero to eight. No, don't. It'll take forever to download that other one. So we'll do that at some point. But. Uh, Nicole, do you have a do you have a microphone? I thought I could hear you. I thought I could hear background noise, and I had you unmuted before. Do you have a microphone? I swear I can hear background noise wherever you are. Okay. So you're not on, on an iPad or anything. It seems like, like I said, it seems like when I unmute you, I can hear some type of background noise. But so I think we'll start with yours, Nicole. If that's okay, and if you want to uh, just type in anything you want to tell us about your um, presentation. So Nicole did one on. Oh, so she's at school. So that's pretty obvious or something. Um, with uh, life cycle of the millworm, and. Go ahead and click on the play button down here. So it looks like 
um, Nicole, like you have, are you, can you monitor her questions for me, Cliff? I'll go through this. So it looks like she has a spinner with her students' um, names in it. And uh, should I be clicking on the boxes? What should I click on? Yes. Okay, so probably when I start up here, I need to follow the arrows, don't I? So. I'm going to come back. I'll do a reset the page here and try one more time. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there we go. Okay, awesome. So there's an egg. Yeah, since this is a review activity, the students should already know the life cycle. Okay, so this is review activity for students that should already know the life cycle. And mealworm. Keep a beetle. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Oh, is there some is there a second page? Looks like she might have just been playing with that. No, just one. Okay. Great. Good activity there. So she has her text box in there. She has her widget in there with the uh, spinner for the kids' names. And then the uh, um, hide and reveal objects with their text boxes. So, good review. Nice. Um, Nicole, did you have any questions or anything that was a that you tried to do for your presentation but you couldn't figure out how to do? Um, no, everything looks good. Good. Excellent. Okay. Good job. See, Jeanette goes just like that. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, any volunteers here to for us to show yours? All right, Jared's up next. And did you submit yours on my big campus or? Okay, do you have it there? I just have it here. I'll just. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Yeah, well, we can do that. Do you want to log into my big campus and? Um. Okay, so let's catch Jared's, which is Polygon lesson. Should have probably done these over in the boardroom so we have uh, um, could have had the whole full interactive experience. But wonder. So I got the pen tool on that. Uh, right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, since the polygons lesson, how many sides does it have? I just that pulls ink layer. Is it working? Sorry, I'm on a mouse here. All right. So I collaborated. So click here. Click there. Okay, and then you click on the square. The definition of a square is four sides. Definition of a pentagon, it has five sides. Cool. And then the next one. Hexagon. Six sides. And the next one. Heptagon has 
seven sides. Next one. And then octagon has eight sides. Next one. This is very elementary. <laughs> Here's my picture because we don't have a nonagon in the system. So nonagon has nine sides. So did the other ones you do with the with just, the, with the basic, basic shapes? Yeah. And then the decagon has ten sides. And the next one. Long one. That should be coming out. It should be on right now. No, we can't hear that. Is it on down here? Down. Under. This is the final song that teaches how many sides. The internet or you can't hear anything either. What's that? You click on volume. Is there Here? Yeah, speaker volume or anything? No. You're stumping me. Just goes through all the individual <laughs> sizes of a pen or a other one that goes back to the square and then it kind of relates back to itself and then the very end of it, it a doctor changes it into a decagon. We had a We can't hear it. Nice. So, and then I have something else if you don't. If you're done. The next slide. We'll roll it up. Tools. Okay. And then they can drag. This is just a quiz. After seeing it, they can drag the square over to the four sides or Is there something underneath that? No, but something that popped yeah. up there. 
I'm in something just like Nico. Okay. Then the six sides, they can put a hexagon. That go pretty help to me. And then eight <laughs> sides, five sides, nine sides, it says decagon, and then seven sides for a hexagon. Nice. Good. Nice job, man. Good. Any questions? I don't know. <laughs> Any questions for Jared on how he did anything there with his? <laughs> Good. Nice job. I just wish we would have had the volume for the uh, for the song. That's. Oh, my too. <laughs> well, we're going to have to figure out our audio. Cliff, anything you can think of I didn't check? Um, it's weird that, to me, it's weird that GoToMeeting, I can get sound out of this. What is GoToMeeting using as a sound output? That real tech. Not seen anything under that. Kind of plugged in because we're getting sound out. Just for the heck of it. Anything? We had this issue before. I don't remember how we fixed it. I always just Google. Hello, there we go. Hey, Joe. Hey, in the lab when we've had um, issues with sound coming out of the speakers on this front computer, what have you done to fix that? I know we had that before. He did. speakers. Do you know what we've done to fix that? Yeah, you have to change the audio source. I'll lock down there. I'm still here. Give me a sec. All right. Thanks, man. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 
was trying to use the image to I switched to the real chat before. What I should do. I should do this in the window. Hit replay here for me. Hey Larry, can you explain to me what a leap year is? Sure. In the spring, trees Yes, yeah, I switched that, right? These ones? No, they're better for you. Oh, but the ones you, you did the lines? No, no, no. I have witnesses that I open hit that button. <laughs> Starting to panic there for a minute. Yeah. I wish I was a pentagon, but I am just a square. I wish I was a pentagon, but I am just a square. My sides equal four, but if I had one more, I'd be a pentagon and not a square. Na 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 na, just a ball. My sides would equal six. If they were made of sticks, I'd be a hexagon and not a square. I've always been a square and sides that equal four. Na 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 na, just a boring square. I wish I was a heptagon, but I am just a square. If I was a heptagon, then I wouldn't care. My size would equal seven, and I, I wish I was an octagon, but I am just a square. If I was an octagon, then I wouldn't care. My size would equal eight, and that would be just great. I've always been a square, and it just isn't fair, because I've wanted more. Then sides that equal four. Na 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 na. Just a boring square. I wish I was an octagon. Then that would be just fine if I was an octagon and not a square. So you want to have more than four sides? Is it possible? Anything is possible. By the square root of the hypotenuse. <laughs> Please go <laughs> for that. The squares are so obtuse. There. All done. Well now I am a decagon and not a square. I'm a decagon and not a square. When I was just a square, I thought it wasn't fair. So I had surgery to my geometry. Not a boring square. <laughs> Did they get a kick out of it? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Did you get some yeah. access to that? It's on my boot camp. Yeah. Cool. Nice job, Jared. Yeah. Okay. Who's who'd like to share yours next? I forgot to do it. Uh, right? I never did get my word wall on because. Okay. Yeah, so I don't have that. So mine's really bad, so that's okay with you guys. You only did 9,000 points. <laughs> did you get it submitted to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. I'll need to... I'm going to be interested to see if I can download it or not. Let's see if I can download it. Uh, so if you do happen to uh, use my big campus for kids to submit schoolwork, um, you can just find the assignment like I've done here. Have two more submissions, and you can go in and see who submitted it, and uh, we'll go ahead and grab Rob. You can view the submission there, and you can enter grades in there. Uh, you can send assignments back to kids. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to have to download it on my Mac first. No, you didn't do anything wrong. It's the it's just how uh, PCs are handling these files off the internet. Let's see what happens. Oh, that sound. The double.
This voice is not licensed. Please visit www.kepstrel.com to purchase a license. That worked. Okay. Just had to outthink the computer. All right, you're up. This is technical work. Um, kind of. This is a an admin for dummies. <laughs> okay. Um, just go in and find and have them uh, talk about which one, what muscle they think the humerus is. And if we click on it, it'll say, it should say where it is. Oh, I'm going to hit play blue here. Oh, yeah. I'll just try with the pad now and see yeah. what happens. Yeah. Nice. And then the femur, say which one's the femur. That one, by the way, if you break your femur, it's supposed to be a, a pain level nine. They said you can't say 10 when the doctor asks you because that's a childbirth. <laughs> guys aren't allowed to say 10? No, guys have to, Guys can only say 9. So. Uh, it worked there. Yeah, I think we okay. double click. Okay, and then the tibia would be double click. There you okay. go. Down nice. There. And then I had a link. I didn't, the word wallet I was going to do, and I, and I didn't have it on my computer, and I just spaced it. But um, I have a link to, um, I don't know, it's just a lady that's boring as heck talking about the skeletons. No songs, huh? No songs, no. <laughs> Your skeleton provides the framework for your body and protects the main delicate internal organs. At nice. Good. Good. Great job. All right. Now you guys can get that one out of the way so you guys can do the good ones. <laughs> no, that's awesome, man. Good job. That's us PE teachers. We don't think we're going to. That's excellent. Hey, you know what? Quick a question. You yeah. Know, you know, she had those arrows and the first one? Yes. I tried to do arrows and I, I tried to do it with the drawing on. There's a way to do arrows probably and I didn't know how to do that. Um, it should be under here under our drawing menu, uh -huh. and then under the predefined shapes. Um, oh no, sorry, this line one. Lines, okay. I think she there did this curved arrow right See, here. See, I went to the I went to the pen and tried to draw them in, and I just oh. and it's like I got uh, yeah yeah, it looks like I had Parkinson's or something like that. So, so. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And then I think you could um, take those and you could even animate them. I think if you did the special effect with them. Do uh, okay. Draw. Oh, I'm on top here of the hyperlink. So yeah, who would like to show you next? Uh, which yours was vocab, wasn't it? Yeah, vocab one should be. And figure out how to use this board. This voice is not licensed. Please visit www.kepstrel.com to purchase a license. Okay, so I, I did this one kind of like a power piece. So there are three slides. This is just the first one that introduces what we're going to do. Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. Um, that's the Globe Theater for anybody that's not a his, uh, history or a Shakespeare. Uh, Where's that located? What's that? Where's that located? Um, it should be in London. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Last I heard, it was in London. That's where Shakespeare was. But well, London Bridge is in London anymore. Yeah, well, it's still it's in Arizona. That's a good point. So if we click to the next one, so all, all I'm doing is teaching vocab. So here are the vocabulary for Act One, and this is going to give them the vocab and its definition: um, surfeit, cloister, provident, abjure, and ducat. Know what each one is? <laughs> no, this is high school. Yeah, and they hate it too, so don't feel bad. And then this is a, the widget, and this is just a um, word search. And I can do it either show the list. Will it do it? I can show the list, or if they've gotten to such a point where they know what they are, I can give them this, and they don't have to. And then all they have to do is come down here and highlight it, and it will cross that one off. Cool. The, the problem that I was having with this is, is this timer here starts as soon as you start the whole presentation. So I have to stop, and that's what I was actually talking oh. about. I have to stop and reset that timer if I'm going to do anything like who can find a word the fastest. Um. So I played around with that a little bit yesterday. And then once I get them here, um, we can go to the next slide. I'm still working on my word search. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I found them all. It took me like 10 minutes. <laughs> well, you can do, and you can do like search for the word, but just not like that. Just give them the meaning, but they have to think of Right, and that, that's right. next. So I see. hopefully the idea, you know, is teaching crap. That's the idea is to, to get them to wrap it up one way and then wrap it up another way and do it a couple of different ways. So this, I played around with this a little bit, and, and I have word a word wallet to go with it. But, you know, I, I don't love it because it, it takes up so much space. Yeah. So the kids can um, just grab one of them, like Cloister, and bring it and put it up there. There you go. Uh, and then you can tap on that, and it will tell you whether or not you're right. But I, I kind of thought that messing with the, the word wall. Nice. And then the other thing that I thought is that you can bring up and just let them write. So they come up to the board and they can write with the pen right there yeah. where the next one is, yeah. and then tap that. What happens if you pull the wrong word up? Then what they do? No, if it, it just wouldn't be anything. So if you bring like prodigal to here, and then if you click on this, you'll see it's not the right one. It's not the right one. But I, I thought if they if they went up there and wrote yeah, the word itself, they could check it out. <laughs> Sounds and laughing. Nice. Good job, James. Yeah, that one's better than mine. I'll just, I'll just be the fat kid in the back you can pick on. Nice. Wow, I'm proud. Nice. He got them all. He's a quick step. Well, he's a, he's a English teacher. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Got some pressure on. Well, this is kind of a fun one. Did anybody else try playing with the um, with this widget? It's a nice one to do for a review with the kids. So, hey. Oh, my kids hate word searches. So. Do they? Yeah. You need to get a teacher. Oh, I love them. <laughs> Good. Good Any questions for James on what he did or how he did it? Okay. With this one, James, with if this timer here isn't working the way you want it to, I would just say look and bring in that other widget uh, with the timer and throw two widgets up on there. Um, and use the timer, tell them not to watch them. My kids are OCD, that would drive them crazy. To have two timers on there? <laughs> yeah, my, my students would not do well with that. <laughs> and are there, I didn't see if there's any settings on this one or... I couldn't find any, that was what I was asking about when I first came in. Yeah, the widgets are so unique, each one's a little bit different than another one that... Well, and that's what we're trying to find, where is the directions for how to use the widget? Uh, they're not. It's really a trial and error type of thing on the widget. That's so, I mean, you can go in and reset that timer every time you do it. It just takes a minute or two, but then that's just another minute or two that they've got a or second to right. sit there and watch me do something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Who else would like to share yours? Okay, let's go back to Jennifer. And you had your submitted before, didn't you, Jennifer? Uh, a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I had it done. I just did put it on my big campus, so it's there now, though. Well, just barely put it on there? Okay. I did. Okay. Just so I know where to find it. Yeah, it's on there. I teach fourth grade, so I did a math lesson, but... We haven't come to yet. Mean read mode. Oh, mean nice. Yeah. There you so the first part of it, I'm teaching what that, what the vocabulary words are, what that means. And then at the end, I, I give them a practice one, see if they can figure it out. <coughs> This voice is not licensed. Please visit www.kepstrel.com to purchase a license. Okay. Okay, here we go. So here's my first page. And um, as I mentioned, I'm just giving instruction on how to do it. Um, and I tried to use some different colors um, with the words and the so that that would draw their attention to that. Nice. And next page. So there's um, there's five pages. 
Okay, moving on to median and range. This is supposed to be a subtraction sign. <laughs> so you, in case you wondered what that big red thing was there. Okay, so median and range. Move on to third page. Okay. And there's the example, the solution. Okay, for the median, and this one is um, down here for the, the range. Is that right? Yeah, the range. Okay. Here again, subtraction is what they would use, so I just put a little picture in there. Then the fourth page. The mode, explaining how to do that, giving them some practice. So, so the first four pages were, were strictly just teaching skill. Then the fifth page. Okay, so this is the one that they should do on their own, and they need the word wall. So if you would bring up that word wall. Okay, so from the word, word wallet. Yeah. So from here they would drag the, the answers over. And once they have done that, then they check, uh, click on the calculator to see if they got it correct. So go ahead and move back. Or can I do it? Do you do go ahead it? and try to get the <laughs> lecture. Well, Jared had a hard time with his one. Huh? Go ahead. Yeah, put 85 over there. Okay, and then you 90. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to say I don't want to really try that one in my head. And then 90. And 50. And then you click on the calculators and it tells you whether you've got it correct. Nice. So check your answers. Oh. Awesome. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Great, Jennifer. Thank you. <clears throat> Was there anything that you had a hard time with or that you <laughs> wanted to do that you couldn't do or? <laughs> go, go find a fun song about being in the mode. I'm sure there is. From Rock back in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good introduction, but you know, I'm sure there's a lot more that I would like to do that I don't have. That's great. Great start on it. Good. Okay. Do you want to go? I've got yours on the flash drive already. This voice is not licensed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing yours a different way, so uh -huh. you might be okay. You get that early. Because I could, you know, sing and dance with you. That'd be great. <laughs> and yours is the solar system. Mm -hmm. This voice is not licensed. Please visit www.kepstrel.com to purchase a license. Okay, so here's the solar system, and this has a hyperlink to a video from YouTube, which is a nine-minute video introduction to solar system with a... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully student friendly. Grab their interest. We're gonna take a spaceship. Look, a rocket out to space. Exciting space exhibit. My name's Ernie. Well, Boys and girls. Okay, so you watch the whole nine minute video. Are you okay? All right. We're gonna a slide of the Earth and the Moon. Just explain a little bit. Have a little simulation. Where so where did you find the simulation? This is another YouTube thing. No, it's Dave. That's an amazing teacher. So it's uh, easy, and that's one thing this we didn't. Is an easy teacher. Yeah, this is one thing we didn't get into okay. a whole lot. So I'll come back and I'll talk about where you can find those kinds of things okay, too. So I just have this saved, okay. and then there's another one with the phases of the moon. So it'll show them what they're called <coughs> throughout the month: the waning and the waxing. Cool. It's really cool. I think it shows it much better than I ever saw in a textbook. Cool. Okay, and then... Oh, I have the faces in the moon, so it's a good thing. <laughs> what are you seeing, of course? Okay, and then this one just shows the, the planets, and if you click on it, there's a hyperlink to... Animaniacs, I'm going to see. 
And this is really short. So. Attention! This is your cute stewardess asking you to remain singing until the video has come to a complete stop. Because now it's time to coon about the planets that make up our solar system. Come on! <laughs> Close to the sun is the planet Mercury. Next, the shrouded planet Venus is as cloudy as can be. The Earth is next. We call it home. Let's hope it stays that way. And then there's Mars. It's really red. What more can I say? The gassy planet Jupiter is as big as planets come. Then there's Saturn with its mighty rings made up of tiny crumbs. We travel on to Neptune. That's a gassy, crazy ball. And cold and tiny Pluto. It's the furthest one of all. Oh, there you go. That's our solar system. You forgot your anus. Good night, everybody. <laughs> hey, where are we going? <laughs> I was going to say it was seventh or eighth of you. You said moon and Uranus. It's all hooked up to over. Yeah, it's I know. That's oh, hilarious. Even yeah. fifth, fourth grade. Okay, <laughs> then um, <clears throat> there is a little quiz here. And if you click on the planet, it will give you some questions about the solar system. And there's not a word ball to click and link and whatever. So it would just be a draw your sticks, give the answers to. I just... I just um, copied that, cut it, pasted it onto to easy teach on that. Nice. Then I should have my last one. Nice. Good. Oh. Good. So, Good. Do, the, do the textbooks say that um, Pluto's a ball? Or is it still the same? Yeah, you have to get the new textbooks. Probably all of them. Yeah. It's a dual appointment. Well, because uh, they've changed the, the my pyramid to my plate now, so it's you know for nutrition. So oh, yeah. Just in July, so yeah. Oh, no, it's it's this. Not anymore. Not anymore. It's not even it's that. A, it's a plate with a glass of milk. There's four sections on a plate with a glass of milk, and it's called my plate. Oh my gosh! So all the books are on. <laughs> just like all the all the books are on. Too. Wow. Did you when did you submit yours? I submitted it yesterday. But yesterday. I have it on. Okay, I've got it. I should have it on the flash drive here too. So, how did it go today? They were nice, and it's eighth graders. So oh, good. They were nice. I don't think they'll coming here. <laughs> so, do, do we have access to each other's? Only if we give it to each other. Um. Well, they're posted, so I'll have to see if I can um repost them out to the group. Uh, yours is vocab. No. No, that was James's. Yours was. I don't see it. It wasn't dinosaurs. Uh -uh. Okay, let's pull off my big campus. I have a real original name, Teaching for Tech or something. Oh, you know what? I thought I did. Hold that one. Hold that one. There I am. Tech project. <laughs> it's right down over that at some point. So I'm just copying it over. This voice is not licensed. Please visit www.kepstrel.com to purchase a license. Okay, we did polygons earlier, now we're going to do circles. Nice. The circumference and area of the circle. Okay. So, click on this first. They like this. Cool. Okay, radius. Radius passes through the center of the circle and has both ends on the circle. And circumference is the perimeter of the rational number. That means it goes on forever and ever. There's no pattern to it. You can't um, express it as a fraction. It never terminates. And if you click on the pi, okay, so the, and the, pot, the definition of pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference, so the measure of how much a circle is around, divided by that circle's diameter. So no matter how little or how big your circle is, the ratio of circumference to diameter will be the same number. And 
this, this slide I'm not happy with, but um, I had a lot of trouble. I could not get the superscript. It was just right. a miracle this came in. Wow. Uh, I kept trying to cut and paste, and it wouldn't do Nothing it. It would come in superscript, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I Good think this question. is an image. I think this is a photo. That's okay. why it came in. Yeah. Um, so circumference, C equals pi d, or if they give you the radius in your problem, you can just do 2 times pi times the radius. Yeah. Area is pi r squared. Okay, and then I apologize for the song. It'll be stuck in your head all night. So <laughs> click on that. My eighth graders begged me never to play it again. <laughs> Here is a circle, it knows how to get around. It has a radius from center to rim. And its diameter is a line that goes from side to side while passing through the center. Now isn't that simple? Pi r squared sounds like area. Here is a circle, it knows how to get around. It has a radius from center to rim. And its diameter is a line that goes from side to side while passing through the circus use pi d. Pi r squared sounds like area to me. When I need a circumference, I'll just use Thanks. Okay, take a seat and song, Big Yeah. So some of them are humming it, and some are like, don't ever show that again. <laughs> <laughs> have a soundtrack for our class. And then I did tell him that this is that um, on that other slide. Oh, okay. sorry. No, you're fine. I did tell him this is artwork from Escher. I yeah. Can't remember. MC. Yeah. MC. Yeah. MC Escher. And I'm going to have go over, take advantage of this, and show them some of the other artwork that he's done because yeah, it's very cool. mathematical in nature. Okay, and this was our practice slide, and it was incredible. The kid I called on. Even though the formulas were here and I just showed that song, I said, how do you do this? And he couldn't remember. So <laughs> that practice, find the area and circumference of the circle. This is a, this is a widget, scientific calculator. So and we have a radius of 22 feet. So for the circumference, we can do 2 pi r. So if you click 2, oh, you found it. Yeah. I'll, I'll just do you. 2 times pi times 22 equals, and then I'll show you this other thing I couldn't figure out. So, okay, so clear that, and let's do pi r, pi r squared for area. And then I don't, I, and then the square thing is right down here. Okay, nice. so now if you click on these, on that formula thing, there's the answers. Great. So what I, wanted to do, I wanted to figure out a way to have to have this show up and then that show okay. up. So, do you know how you do that? Would I have to separate these two yep. also? No, you wouldn't have to separate those two. Uh, well, I guess it depends on what you're clicking. What are you clicking to have them show I did up? click on this, to yeah, show the up. formula. Yeah, so you just want to do those as, as four separate boxes okay. instead of two. Okay. But that would absolutely work. Nice. That's a great use of the calculator. So the kids can come up and do the calculation well, right there on the board. Well, and a lot of them don't bring calculators to class. Yeah. So I'm trying to convince them how useful scientific calculator yeah. is when well, you're it's in eighth great, grade. Even if they have the calculator, high school. Yeah. And even if they have the calculator, they should demonstrate for the rest of the students how they do that. That's a great yeah. use of it. So. Yeah. Because a lot of them didn't know this on their calculators, the yeah. square, and mm -hmm. a lot of them didn't know they had pi yeah. on their calculator. Great. So. Nice job. Excellent. Thanks. 10,000 points. <laughs> well, one of the kids said, who would spend their time yeah. figuring out how long pi is? He, he has something better to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to 10, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the back. 
I'm going to say, after you guys know stuff, and it's a little bit more, this is second grade level. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. And so we've been talking about the dinosaurs, so it's kind of a difference that I got kind of this last week, too. Mike gets to this today, and so we've been talking about the definitions of different dinosaurs. Oh, I need the bird ball, please. Okay. It does take me a minute to figure out. You have to go into the alphabet or the text portion. Yeah, the text portion to get into your ball. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. so it's just a click and drag. Do you have it? Or uh, we'll do it right here. So. I so said we found out today that yeah, if you get it pretty lined up with the green. Square, it goes into the it green lettering. <laughs> However, yeah, then, well, mine didn't go as big as <laughs> are going now. But, um, or else it would just remain black. Hmm. And then Volcano was just a word I threw in there because that was from a different vocabulary set that we've had. Yeah. And then click on the definition and it'll tell you if you're right or not. Nice. I love that feedback that you're giving to the kids. And we also realized that if you're clicking over here for the correct answer, it won't give it to you. have to be more in the center. Oh. And then when they were all done, they could click the dinosaur and let me know that they were done. Nice. It says roar. Oh, awesome. Had to do that. The roar thing. The, the shape was in the shape finder, and then the roar was just one of the, I think, um, one of the effects for being kind of distorted. I would like, if we have time, to find out how you went from swirly, where you couldn't really read it, mosaic, into actually finding the words. Because, oh, oh, okay. Because um, I liked that, and I couldn't do that. Okay, yeah, you <laughs> That was their favorite part, David. Yeah, <laughs> also, where it was like, I think you showed us, like, the huckleberries. Yeah. Or swirled, and then it's unswirled. Yeah. I could never get anything to unswirl. Good. Okay. You want to show us yours? No, I didn't show you. Okay. I wanted to just show on um, there because where I got that um, moon thing, oh, yeah. that just got into my Easy Campus. Oh yeah, and, and activity. She would just went there. So I'll show them. We'll just throw up my big teach. My big teach easy. My big teach. My big easy. My big easy teach. So, um, and then it's activities. My big movie. And you got to okay. to your US so social under social the Easy Teach menu, if you come here to activities, we should have spent some time on yeah, this one. Yeah, because you didn't do it. When Jared told me where they were, we at US. Okay. So do you guys remember why there's two groups there? It's from Britain. It's British. And so oh. you can use English ones, but no, you'll get British spell, spellings on things if you do it. Um, so okay, so then when I went into um, science, interactives. Yeah, we should be there. Okay, then there's the Earth and the Moon. So it's something that's already on Easy Teach. Oh, wow. And they just, many and they, they, you can go into, you know, in your math or language arts or whatever, oh. and, and just find things that are already there in their activities and put them on. There's my Earth and Moon right there. As the and they also have... Um, math doesn't have very many. Math doesn't have very many? No. Not, well, unless not in the interactive. In and, the these, interactive. and these lessons are pre-built lessons, so it's the whole file. The interactives are like she showed us earlier it's like a little um, animation inside of it but they have full um, activities yeah, full here lessons. full lessons somewhere you can go download more online mm -hmm. if you go to um i can't remember the website now I'll, I'll post it on my big campus but i think if you just googled i think it's actually easy learn is the site where did you get that box from any artist on there is that for me to teach i was that's too much time joking around today i wasn't paying attention which box yeah that one, that one there Okay, so just yeah, the Easy know. Teach menu, and then under Activities, yeah, and U.S. English. Oh, there's no interactives. Social studies. Yeah, none in social studies. Some cross-curricular. Ooh, calendar. Please register me. <laughs> <laughs> this so. guy wants to join this class. <laughs> If we, if we get your software updated, then this should roll up to 2012, I would think. That's not too much good to have a 2011 calendar. But I think it's easylearn.com, if I remember right. So this is, uh, and I'll, I'll post this uh, um, 
link on there as well. But here's some a place where you can download more activities. They have a media bank here. They have some tutorials on how to use. Um, but notice it is a uh, um, global there, so they have some different languages besides English there. Um, but this is a from there. What did you click on to get to that list? Um, I was just over here under tutorials. Oh, I have more than one subject here. And let's check out math. I wouldn't have known that. I would have done my own. I would just pretend like that's awesome. How did you do that? First day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's a resource at the afterwards. So we don't have to invent the wheel every time. Yeah. So, and I don't know if you you have to be able to filter by language, but I'm, there we go. Oh. So now we come up and we click on subject. So there's still um, yeah yeah this is just a website so you can actually open it at home um, if you download something then um, that's really interesting then you'll want to save it um, to your flash drive or um, I wonder if I can show you SkyDrive here. Maybe I'll show you SkyDrive too. But you could, um, you can save that down to a flash drive and bring it back to school. So, okay. Um, so we had a question about doing a hide and reveal. Um, and so if we just put in a picture, let's just go to our um, resource bank and we'll just grab a picture. Okay. So um, we wanted to do that squirrel effect with our guy eating a sandwich here. Okay. We would just select it like this, and then we would go to our special effects. And under actions, we could do enable or disable effect. And then we can either do it with this object, or again, you can click on this one to do it to a different object. We'll just stick with this one. And click OK, and then we just choose the effect we want to do here. So there's you know, 12, 15 different effects that you can do with it. I think we're doing the swirl effect, and you can adjust Mm -hmm. He's pissed off. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's reduce that effect a little bit. That's like I do with Gene. Sorry, I'm showing my age again. That's the digestive system. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can do that. So, did that make sense on how to do that swirl effect, Jennifer? Your special effects tools. Little this yeah. course is not licensed. Please visit www.kepstrel.com to purchase a license. You don't want to do that guy again? Let's try goldfish. We'll just we'll reduce our effect a little bit. Okay, so special effects. Enable or disable it. Squirrel. Okay. So now when you click on it, maybe it doesn't want to do with animations. Might not like those. Might just have to do a regular picture. Let's just do a demonstration. Don't try it with animations, apparently. Yeah. It's not going to let me do anything with it once it's... 
Done this one. Can't find any more. No. Yep. Any other questions that you've had as you've tried to do anything that um, you can quite figure out? So again, those other activities um, are here under um, the activities link. More time. First, start up um, Easy Teach. You'll notice that there's a um, well here under your menu. There's find activities on the web as well, and then. When you go to Easy Teach Next Generation, there's also a link before you open one or create a new one. Uh, there's a link here to activities that are predefined, and then there's a link here to this website as well. Things like math lessons and things like that. So, again, as you as you get out and and uh, get away from class a little bit, if you can't remember how to do things, then um, it, this is a good place to start. And there are some tutorials on some widgets, not necessarily on all of them, but um, there's definitely some videos for at least a few of the widgets that are there. Today, I want to show you some of the widgets which can be used in early years lessons. Deselect by clicking anywhere on the page and click on the next arrow to see the pictures available. Click on the paint areas of the picture with a single click. have a link to get yeah, here's a link to easy learn right here so if you start with that one um, then there should be a link at least have the trial version you can download and put up home I know the hard I know the hard Wait, button button okay so that pretty much uh, if you downloaded these activities um, has anybody seen seen your SkyDrive yet? Uh, do you remember how to check your email from a computer? Outlook.com. Good, Outlook.com. So if I go to Outlook.com. And sign into it. Right up here under uh, more, I think, there is a link to SkyDrive. So SkyDrive is um, it's cloud storage. Do you guys know what cloud storage is? Are you familiar with that term? It's basically like having a flash drive um, that's up on uh, it's up on the internet. So instead of having to save things to a flash drive and create that flash drive with me anywhere. I can log into any computer that has internet access and access my files through the internet. And so if I click on SkyDrive here, more and SkyDrive, um, <clears throat> so these are some of um, the files that I have. But let's say I just wanted to create a folder for RM Easy Teach. I could click on new folder here, call it RM Easy Teach Activities. This might actually be the best way for me to share things with you, actually, when I think about it. And then I can click here and add files, and I can um, either drag and drop files to that, or I can uh, click select them from my computer and upload them. So these ones we just did in class, I can click on that, open it, and that will upload it up there. And so now I can go back to my office, I can go home, um, pull it up on my iPad, and I can... Um, have access to those files. So that saves you having to um, necessarily save them to a flash drive. And if you're like me, I go through about three flash drives a year, either losing them or breaking them. And um, since I started going to cloud storage like SkyDrive or um, Dropbox, it saves a lot of headache. And we won't get into it all the way in this class, but you can actually set up on your um, computers, you can set up what's called a sync folder. And you can just drag and drop things into that sync folder on your computer, and then it'll automatically upload them into SkyDrive as well. And if you change it in your 
uh, computer and you save it there, then it changes it online and it just makes it really nice portable document storage. And SkyDrive, one of the amazing things about it is it's 25 gigs. And so if you're to buy a 25 gig flash drive, it's going to cost you probably around 50 bucks these days. Um, and SkyDrive is completely free. So. so that's kind of a nice way that if you're at home, you don't have a flash drive, you can save your files there and go to school and pull them right off of it on there. So. Okay. Okay. Well, appreciate everybody uh, taking the class. I hope it was beneficial for you. And I think we just had one person online tonight. So, uh, Nicole, did you have any final questions or anything? <coughs> okay. Well, I'll... Could you do anything for your credit, like at the end, like if some... Uh, evaluation at the end or something. Uh, like that. You know, I might, if there's an evaluation, I'll send it out to you. They might send you a link to it now that everything's kind of online. Oh, yeah. I don't get the papers anymore to do that. So, so yeah, so it's on, it's on yeah. the page, everything's online. Yeah. It's yep. There. So I'll get um, grades posted. Everybody, you got your assignments completed. So I'll get those grades posted. They're through NNU again. So, we want 10,000 points. And you'll get your 10,000 points. You can, you can give me 9,000 if you want. <laughs> so. Yeah. So good. Appreciate everybody coming and.